She is known throughout the nation and the world for her work in hormone therapy and women's health. Yet few of you may know her name or that Marla Algram has grown her company the past 30 years right here in Madison. Women's Health America is our business profile this Friday afternoon. And founder Marla Algram is with us to talk about her company and why, especially recently, her staff's been taking so many calls. Marla, first of all, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Well, I'm so excited you invited us to talk today. Well, we had somebody say, if we're doing these business profiles, we needed to profile you. Um, they're so impressed with what your company has done, and it's been a relatively well-kept secret here. Women's Health America, explain for people that don't know about you who you are. Women's Health America is America's original and largest specialty pharmacy for women. In fact, we've worked with women all throughout Wisconsin, all the way to um, California, Florida, and have a national presence. We specialize in hormone therapy, bioidentical hormone therapy, in low doses, and customized. So what we've ascribed to over the years is a very specialized practice focused on premenstrual syndrome, perimenopause, menopause, and really health and wellness for the rest of your life. And you've done this in a very unique way, and we'll get to that in just a second, but why did you decide to start to go down this route? What made, it, what made you think that this was something that needed to be done? In the late 1970s, in my practice in pharmacy, I noticed that women were traditionally treated this way. Well, this symptom is all in your head. Here, take a Valium. And I thought, you know, that really didn't make a lot of sense. And so I began to understand the influence of hormones and realized that hormone therapy is the foundation of health. If those aren't balanced, then it's very difficult to move on to other therapies. Well, I was told by a colleague early on that really all women are neurotic anyway and should be on Valium. And so that was my impetus to start Women's Health America. So in 1982, I founded the very first pharmacy to specialize in women's health. And from that point on, added national toll-free 800 lines, started fielding questions from patients all across the country, um, training doctors, and today we've worked with over 300,000. And when I said unique earlier, I want to get back to this right away, because one of the things that you do, which may be counterintuitive for a pharmaceutical, <laughs> well, not a company, but a pharmacy, is to try and do everything possible to keep women off of having to take medication. That was uh, the, my original um, philosophy and it still serves as our core. What we do today is really look at education. You need to know where you are and where you want to be. N nutrition and lifestyle changes are critical. In fact, we found over 65 percent of the severe callers that we work with can be worked off medication. Diagnostic testing. I've developed diagnostic testing to measure hormone levels and rate of bone loss. We actually titrate medicine to fit and prepare by hand each individual prescription when needed. Incredibly personalized medicine. One of the reasons that you have been getting so much attention lately is you have followers the likes of Suzanne Summers. Oprah recently has launched this as one of her big topics. So we've been hearing from thousands of women who are part of the conversation that Oprah started on bioidentical hormone therapy. And it's a wonderful thing to be able to talk to patients across America because it reminds me every day of the need that we have and the, and the, really the service we provide to those patients when they're looking for alternatives to hormone therapy. Many come to us and say, you know, I want to try something different. I want to try nutrition and tell me some other options before drug therapy or hormone therapy. But the other thing to remember is when hormone therapy is needed, when you're working with a place like ours, um, the lowest, uh, most effective dose is, is used, and oftentimes it's much lower than what's traditionally available. And we do the free follow-up testing to actually make sure that the dose is exactly right for you, not too high, not too low. Marla, I want to thank you for your time. We are out of time today, but I want to let people know you've got a couple of books out. We've got links on our web channel to your company's homepage, and you do an Ask Marla, and I know there's easy access to you if people want it. A uh, doctor referral to your pharmacy is welcome, but not necessary, and you are here in Madison. So we just want to reiterate, congratulations well, thank on you, growing Carly. your business for the past 30 years here. And again, for folks that uh, know of a unique business doing something like what Marla's doing or just in a unique way here in Madison, please email us here at NBC15.com. We look forward to featuring other unique businesses here in our area. All right, final look at your forecast.